Well, good morning and welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. This is another video about the Vector power station. I bought the charging port cable to plug in my 200 watt solar panels that I made a briefcase out of so I can travel with them. Where's my handle? I use stainless bolts on everything and rivets, stainless hinges, and just a couple pieces of wood that I had for legs. Just riveted them to the frame. And it's been working great for a long time. And now here's the plug and the plug that I bought red and black wire ends to go into the solar panels and of course it goes into the victor power station and it's really cloudy right now i'm only getting two watts or maybe 0.2 watts but it is getting a little bit and like i said it is cloudy you can see i'm not really getting much sun at all but this should blow over and we should get some sun on our panels now we are getting ready to go camping at the gray lake state park and i used my isco for uh food and stuff because the refrigerator in the pop-up camper is pretty good works great but i mainly just put some sodas and stuff that we're going to use when we're in the camper most of my cooking and food prep is done outside so it's just convenient to put my food in this ice co where i can just pop the hatch uh, and get to everything i even have a suv tent from uh, j tutis that works really well for using this as a, like a kitchen area so that works out great too but what i wanted to do is i want to see if i can totally run this ice co off of this power station the vector power station uh with the 200 watt solars connected and uh yeah see what happens here i've already got the isco plugged in now we're, we're going to be doing a full cool down because it has not been running it's just been sitting in the back of the jeep i've already got it plugged in i'm using the ac side it just seems to work pretty good on the ac side there uh, you just got to tap i've already got the unit on I said we're only getting two watts right now that's going to increase a lot once we get going or it should and we'll check that out uh at another time once we get some sun but you just tap the ac and we see it's, the plugs are hot now this swap to output power that's going to jump up as soon as this thing kicks on and it just kicked on We're at 96% charge, and after we get some good sun, we'll come back up and see if we're going down or if we're going up. It's going to take a little while for this thing to do its first cool down. You see what the temperatures are right now. I say it's going to take a little while to cool this down so I can load it up for our camping trip. And we're just going to get a good idea how this vector is going to do. I have run the ice co off of it for several hours and you know it did fine. The time we got home I plugged it in charged it up. I think this is like 667 amp hours or watt hours. But yeah as we stand right now it's saying running that compressor full speed like it's going right now we got 11 hours of runtime and once that gets cooled down that compressor is only going to run occasionally so it's going to be hardly nothing pulling off of that so it's going to be a good experiment we'll have this uh done before we go camping this weekend so stay tuned all right guys we have been running for a little while and we're almost 
down to temperature. It takes a while for this thing to get fluctuated right. This is not, here I'll show you what I'm set on. That's supposed to be 34 degrees. You saw it was saying 29. And this one's supposed to be 34 degrees. I don't know if y'all see that or not, but it's 36. So when that goes down two more degrees, this compressor's gonna kick off and it's the temperature. That's when the solar panel should kick in and start charging this vector power station back up. Now, we started at 96%, we're down to 89%. We started at like 11 hours and something, now it's at 10 hours and something. Output powers, I believe that would be 5.5 watts. We are still, we are still really cloudy. It is fixing to clear off though, and we'll get some sun. Then we'll see how much power this 200 watt panel, or panels, put in the vector power station to this cord I bought. I believe the brand of this cord is on here. I really, I really, I think it was like $13. This does not come with the cord to plug into solar. Uh, the only cords it comes with is uh, USB-C. Okay, this just turned off. So we're at the temperature. I said this will come up in a little bit. Now right now in the shade we're getting, looks like, I don't know if that's 7 watts or 0.7 watts. I'm thinking 0.7 watts. So we're charging, it's putting a little bit in there. And this is in cloudy conditions. So we are still getting some juice put back in the battery. And we're not getting anything. I'll go ahead and unplug this. There's nothing coming in from Jeep. That plug's not live unless the Jeep is running. So we're going to leave this here, we're at 88%, the compressor should stay off for a little while, and then we will see what happens when the sun starts hitting the panels. But it did power this ice co enough that it come from outside temperature, upper 60s I think, 70, to my settings it did pull it down about eight percent to get it cooled down but now it should start going up even though it's just a little bit it's going to start going up okay it's still very cloudy but we are getting a little bit more sun than we was we are up a percent on the charge this should go way up when we get full sun. The compressor is still not running because we are at temperature and I don't imagine it will run for quite a while. And it'll run even less once I get it full of our stuff and it gets all the stuff inside gets to temperature. But it is climbing ever so slowly, but it is climbing. I went up a little more, a little more sun. I'm gonna say that's two watts. I really need to do more research and figure out what configuration or wattage is here. But I think that there'd be a decimal there, so that'd be 2.0. As we get more sun on the panels, we'll see how we do. According to this, 
it'll take 7.2 hours at this rate to fully charge this battery pack okay we're checking in again on this victor power station we're down to 83 percent the compressor just kicked off on the ice co so we're back down to temperature a hmm, little bit more water's going in not a whole lot more it is just super cloudy right now but i think around two o'clock we're going to start seeing more sun so we'll see what happens when we get more sun but honestly uh, we've got it was 11 hours of output with the compressor running so i mean we've got plenty of juice still and if we can get some good sun i think that's going to uh start topping it up we will see what happens when we actually get some sun okay we're getting a little bit more sun now we got 4.6 watts coming in 3.5 hours till this is charged if we could keep 3.4 hours till it's fully charged if we could keep this type of wattage coming in So with those numbers, if you have sun, there's not going to be a problem with that running this for pretty much as long as you want to run it. As long as you get some sun. Testing continues. Sun's really popping out a little bit harder now. We got to 7.5 and we're down to 2 hours of fully charging it. So if we keep good sun for an hour or so, we could charge this thing fully up, even while it's running the ISCO. Hard for me to tell if y'all can see that or not. Getting some good sun on the panel now. Still not full sun, but more than we was time will tell we'll take a little, another look at it here after about an hour or so okay i'm getting a little bit of sun now a little bit of sun on the panels a lot more than was compressor's not running right now we are down to temperature and it's like we're at 8.4 watts going in time to full charge is 1.8 hours so if we can keep sun for a couple hours we will should get this charge back up and it'll be ready to make it through the night okay we've had some good sun on our solar panels and we went up from 82 percent to 84 percent eight watts coming in 1.6 hours time till full pressure's not running at the moment holding temperature pretty good sun shining on back the car is getting hotter but we'll continue to see if we can get up closer to 100 percent before dark gets here okay we're in evening now sun's going down still have a little bit on the panels the pressure's running on this as soon as that drops another degree it'll run, go off and power station's pretty cool it's not hot and we're pulling 6.4 watts with the compressor running charge rate 82 percent and compressor just kicked off all right this is the next morning uh, about 6 6 30 in the morning 
and you can see the refrigerator pulled the power station down to 53 percent compressor's not running at the moment <coughs> and there's not enough sun right now on the panels to have anything going into the power station but it did run the refrigerator all night long so i started yesterday morning ran it all day in very cloudy situations very little sun came in until uh, evening i mean we got uh, a couple hours of good sun and today is supposed to be sunny so hopefully we can bring this up to run it another night but you know we did run it all day all night and we're in the morning now it's trying to get some output or some input power but anyway uh you know 53 percent it'll definitely run your refrigerator you know as long as we get sun today we're good to go i see no reason we couldn't get that up close to 100 percent even if it just gets up into 80 percent ish area that's where we was at yesterday evening before i unplugged the panels so we'll be good and i i do have a 12 volt plug or a 120 15 plug something like that behind my seats that i can plug this thing into and when we're traveling that will charge this up or i can plug it into uh there's a usb charge you can plug this with a usb charger but like I said, I have a 12 volt plug back there that I can plug into and it'll charge this up. I've already proven that. So yeah, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll run a refrigerator. Keep it going all night long and you're good to go the next day. Like I say, as long as we get sun, we're good to go. And this is made by the same people that make DeWalt, in case y'all didn't know. And I think this is a little bit more than a Jackery. And basically after my research, it's just, it'd be like the Jackery 500. Anyway, we'll see what happens later today. Okay, when we started this morning, we was at 53%. We're getting some morning sun on our solar panels, and we're up to 64%. Uh, this says we'll be charged in four hours if we retain the amount of sun we're getting on our panels right now. Now, you have to subtract a little bit, or add a little bit, for every time the compressor kicks on. Also got my Joy Tutis sunshade over the refrigerator because the sun is shining on the back of the car. And when my hatch is down, that keeps the sun off of that refrigerator. So it's gonna help keep that compressor from running as much. But as you can see, I do have full sun on the solar panels right now. So, the Victor power station is doing its job. All right, guys, we are getting close to noon. And we are at 74%. Compressor's not on at the moment. So, uh, 2.8 hours till this will be charged. And like I said, every time the compressor kicks on, it takes a little bit longer, but we are putting out just a tad bit more juice into the power station than is pulled when the compressor's on. So it's still taking in some charge when it's running. I feel confident that by the end of the day, this thing's gonna be charged and ready to power the ice co through another night. Okay guys, it's 2.30, we're at 86%, compressor's not running right now, so we're taking full charge, and it says 92 minutes till fully charged. I have been chasing the sun, I've been keeping it as full sun as I can, and it's been pretty good sun all day, so as long as you're getting sun, this is doable. Okay guys, it's almost five o'clock. 
Still have a few hours of sunlight left. 92% and yesterday evening when it got dark we was at about 86% and it ran the ice coat all night long and we woke up to it was in the 50s. We have recharged it all the way up the whole time running the ice coat. In fact the compressor is running right now. Pretty hot sun shining on it. So uh, I'm gonna call this. It's doable. This thing will power your 12 volt fridges with no problems.